Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson, one of the greatest heavyweight boxers that the world has ever seen. It's getting closer and closer, okay? Jake Paul, 9-1 and one as a professional boxer going up against Mike Tyson, a man that is 58 years old. Now, you've seen my thoughts on this more than likely. Um, I'm not a fan, right? Listen, fair play to Mike Tyson. He's going out there. He wants the rush of competing. You know, the money's nice as well, but... Listen, he's an animal inside. He wants to go out there. He wants to punish another human being. He wants to get back in the ring and he wants that thrill. He wants that rush because as fighters, we miss that. So fair play to Mike Tyson, 58 years old, taking on this young up-and-comer, this guy with a tremendous following. And as I say, it will be a tremendous payday. But the rules have come out. Now, you might have seen them by now, but if not, here are the rules. Well, number one, it's not a real boxing fight. It's an exhibition bout. They're going to be wearing 16-ounce gloves. So that's a lot of padding, okay? Sometimes when you're sparring, you wear 16. Sometimes you wear 10. When they're competing, it's eight ounce gloves, sometimes six. Well, you're not gonna see Mike get hurt against Jake Paul where they put on 16 ounce gloves and head gear. They didn't put that on to protect Mike. They put that on to protect Jake. You don't know whether <laughs> Mike gets hurt at all. Now, another thing, two minute rounds, no official judges, no winner unless there's a KO and each fighter must pass an EEG and an EKG test. Basically, they're going to test their hearts. I was going to rip his heart out. And the hearts are going to be tested in the ring as well. Let's be honest. Now, let's talk about these rules really quickly. Two minute rounds. If you want Mike Tyson to win this fight, that's a great thing for Mike Tyson because, listen, as you get older, it gets harder to train, okay? He sat on the sidelines doing his thing, podcasting, his cannabis farms, all the rest of it, his cannabis brands, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't been boxing for a long time. Yes, he had the match with Roy Jones Jr., an exhibition match, okay? But he hasn't been boxing at the highest level. He hasn't been an athlete for a very long time. And as you get older, right, 58, okay, it's hard to get in shape. So, two minute rounds is gonna favor him, okay? That is 33% less, okay? So, yeah, he's still gonna get tired, but two minutes, it's, it's a big, big difference. And the longer Tyson doesn't get tired, the more danger that Jake Paul is gonna be in. Simple as that, the reality is Jake Paul was beaten by Tommy Fury, a man that does not have the punching power of Mike Tyson. A man that does not have the experience or the movement or the ferocity or even the mental threat. For Jake Paul, look, listen, he's standing there, he's confident, he's talking shit, he's saying he's the best boxer of his generation, he's the biggest star in boxing and things like that. <laughs> he is saying that, trust me, okay? But when he's standing in there with Mike Tyson, and Mike Tyson has leaned down, apparently started this camp much, much lighter than the Roy Jones Jr. fight, he was already kind of in shape aesthetically to look at. And when Jake Paul's standing in there and you see Mike Tyson and you go and you watch a bit of footage on Mike Tyson, granted, when he was in his heyday, when he was in his prime, that's an intimidating thing, okay? He does all this like electrical muscular stimulation mm -hmm. recovery stuff. Like when they were training Mike for that Roy Jones fight, they were using state-of-the-art yeah, science. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck if you think he's 55 years old. That guy will hurt yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. If Jake Paul's on the other side of the ring and he sees Mike Tyson just f***ing bobbing and weaving, he's going to have a, a recognition. Yeah. He's going to look over and go, oh my God, that's yeah. really Mike Tyson. Yeah. Two minute rounds. I don't think Jake has the power early to knock him out. I really don't. But as the fight progresses, as Mike Tyson gets tired, that could become a real likelihood. Now, it's an exhibition bout. Again, another reason why I don't understand why Jake Paul is doing this, okay? He has money. And listen, granted, okay, you're stepping in there with Mike Tyson. The man's a legend, okay? He was the baddest man on the planet. And what a thing to have on your resume, okay? I'm not completely hating on it. They're all going to make a lot of money. It's going to be watched all over the world on Netflix. So the exposure is going to be absolutely gigantic. But I thought he was pivoting away from the MMA fighters, from the basketballers, and he was trying to become a legitimate boxer. No boxer in the midst of their career that is doing very well, even though he lost to Je uh, Tommy Fury, no boxer that's doing well this early is gonna go off and have exhibition matches because that's something that you do at the end of your career. I mean, could you imagine, listen, he's already got one loss on his record, which for a young boxer, that's gonna have a bright future, that potentially is gonna be a world champion, that's bad. 
typically one loss in the early start of your career, it's not mixed martial arts, right? Promoters aren't interested, but he does have a massive following. So Jake Paul's got kind of a different case, okay? Different set of circumstances. But if he loses to Mike Tyson, how is he ever going to take himself seriously, okay? Now, um, I still think Jake probably wins. You know, I want Mike Tyson to win. I want him to go out there. I want him to knock him out. And the reality is in that first round or two, he is going to have to be incredibly careful, okay? Mike Tyson's going to go at him. It's as simple as that. He is going to go for the knockout. He said, there is no rules, okay? The only way I can win is by knocking him out. And that's what Mike Tyson does best. I mean, throughout the years, some spectacular knockouts. Let's remember, he was the youngest heavyweight champion of the world, okay? Just pure aggression, but skill, technique, speed, ferocity, and no fear, right? Tyson is not going to fear this man, okay? It's as simple as that. And when you don't fear somebody, sure, right, you could walk onto some things, but he's probably going to walk onto some things as well. Remember, Jake Paul versus Tyrone Woodley, okay? Yeah, there was a knockout, but until that knockout came, nothing happened. It was probably one of the worst boxing fights that you will ever see. It was right up there with Tommy Fury and KSI. Maybe not that bad. But you know what I'm saying? There wasn't much activity. And I don't think there will be much activity from Jake early rounds because that's when Mike is dangerous. So Mike, though, on the flip side, he's on the other side of the spectrum. He's like, listen, I've got to get it done early. So I'm going to back him up, get him in the corner and just unleash. They always say, and it's a cliche, but it's true. The last thing to go is power. Mike Tyson still has the power. We've seen him on the pads. We've seen him ripping away, training with Rafael Cordero and a bunch of other trainers as well. The man has always been a ridiculous puncher, one of the hardest punchers ever. And the speed and the movement and the way he gets in, he's still going to have it. He's 58. He's still going to have a little bit of that. He's still going to be able to do it early. He's still going to be able to replicate some of the earlier success. But sure, of course. As the fight progresses, it's going to get slower and slower and slower. And if we get to round four, round five, something like that, then we're going to see Jake probably start to pick him off, etc. Now, regarding the fight, this is what Tyson had to say. He said, this is called the exhibition. But if you look up exhibition, you will not see any of the laws that we're fighting under. This is a fight. I don't, I don't think he's faster than me. I've seen a YouTube of him at 16 doing weird dances. That's not the guy I'm going to be fighting. Yeah, that was weird dancing. And there's a clip. Jay Paul at 16, Mike Tyson at 16. These are not the same people, okay? But of course, age is a factor. He said, that's not the guy I'm going to be fighting. This guy's going to come. He's going to try to hurt me, which I'm accustomed to. And he's going to be greatly mistaken. Will you please promise me you're going to kick this guy's ass and shut him up, please? Yeah. I will do just that for you. Right now, I'm, fr I'm scared to death. But as the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become because it's reality. And in reality, I'm invincible. Because in reality, I'm invincible. Now, the young Mike Tyson, right, he kind of was invincible. But age is a motherfucker, okay? Father time gets us all, right? Look at all the fighters, right, that had great careers. Eventually, they stop. Right, about 20 years ago, when Mike Tyson had his last fight, he said, I haven't got it anymore. I'm getting too old, right? But he stepped out on the sidelines. He sees Jake Paul. He probably doesn't respect the threat of Jake Paul. Yeah, he knows he can bang, okay, a little bit. Any guy that's around 200 pounds that spends a few years in a gym, they should be able to bang. It doesn't mean he's a special talent. It just means he's applied himself, he's dedicated himself, and I respect him for that, right? And he can crack a little bit. But he's no fucking amazing boxer. He still wings his punches and leaves his hands up in the air. He still leaves a tremendous amount of openings, right? So in early rounds, one, two, and three, I can definitely see Mike Tyson knocking him out. Now, look, leading up to this, we're obviously going to have a massive amount of promotion. This on Netflix is going to be a massive spectacle. It's going to have probably tens, twenties, Oh, I was going to say hundreds of millions. It's not going to have hundreds of millions, but it's going to have a ridiculous amount of people watching, okay? There's going to be a lot of pressure on Jake Paul. There's not really going to be any pressure on Mike Tyson. What pressure is there? Go out there, 58, try and knock out some punk. And if he doesn't get it done, so what? Now, some of the people in the boxing community, 
they don't understand this as well. Carl Flock, he doesn't understand it. Anthony Joshua, he was asked about it and he said, listen, he probably thinks that Jake Paul gets it done. He said, Mike Tyson's older. I pray that he comes out healthy, but I think Jake Paul, because of the youth, that's the only thing. I pray that he comes out healthy, but I think... I think Jake Paul because of youth. That's the only thing because of the youth. That's the only thing you think Jake Paul probably wins. Alexander Usyk. I feel. He has got a massive title fight coming up against Tyson Fury to uh, unify all the belts in heavyweight boxing. He doesn't have a problem with it. And fair play, I kind of get the point of Usyk, okay? He said, yeah, Jake Paul's a young guy who's won at boxing who wants to help young guys. But it's a big show. I don't think he wants to help young guys. I'm sorry, Jake Paul is not trying to help young guys. That's the message he's put out there. That is the propaganda. He's doing it for himself. Simple as that. But Usyk said... It's big show. If uh, if people want to see show, okay, give. For me, oh, listen, for me, I think it's uh, okay. And I understand that. He's got a fair point there. Listen, it will be a spectacle. It will be entertaining. It's giving us all something to talk about. And I'm not a Jake Paul hater. I'm really not. It's just a guy that goes on saying he's going to be one of the greatest in the world and all the rest of it and talking shit about older fighters from the MMA world, people that have, you know, done it the hard way, taken the long path. Listen, he's had a, a hack. You know, he's had a shortcut to success in combat sports world because of his following. There's nothing wrong with that. Fair play. This is the modern world that we live in, okay? The TikTok generation, the YouTube generation, all the rest of it. But a lot of fighters, they didn't have that. So they scratched and clawed and worked their way up. Years of blood, sweat and tears, sacrifice, sleeping in the cars, going without. And they grew up in very bad circumstances and they were able to make something of themselves. Then as they've got older, Jake Paul cherry picked them. Cherry picked them to make himself look good, to make himself more popular, to make himself look like a badass. Ultimately, in my opinion, to make him look like something that he's not. Let's remember, he called me out. He sent a contract to my manager, right? When I was, I'm 45 now. I think when I was 44 at the time. Two fake knees, one eye, and that prick sending a, a, a contract. But make no mistake, Jake, I don't need your money. I'm very happy. I've been there. I've done it. I've got the T-shirt. But make no mistake, buddy, you would be barking up the wrong tree there. Anyway, so there are the rules for the Mike Tyson fight, okay? The rules are, right, it's an exhibition. You can't win unless it's a knockout. It's two-minute rounds. I don't know how many rounds they're going to do. 10, 8, 12, probably 10 or 8. It's an exhibition. But what do you think about that? Do you think that affects the overall draw of the fight? Do you find it weird that Jake Paul is going out there and doing exhibition fights when he's trying to become a legitimate boxer? Um, I think that's a bit strange. But anyway, regardless, I've got to get going. I've got to go to work. I'm commentating the fights at the apex. So thank you for watching. Subscribe and hit the bell. I'll see you soon.